Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on the original drift track with the original drift cars from a set of course of the sea. Where this all started with drifting in a set of course. So we all started here. I started here on console, but now we're on PC in a full lobby. So we're gonna try and get some tandems here in the original cars on the original drift track. Looks like we got a controller guy going on right there. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media knowledge found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So this was a place where everybody started with the E92, the E90, the Z4, and the Corolla. And we did hop into a full server. We did just put on the street tires on the car. And we're going to try and get some tandems here. A little throwback to where the drifting in a set of course have really started. But that man in the E92's got it. I probably should have went down the second gear. This corner was the corner that took me forever to actually get when I first started drifting in a set of Corsa. But we managed to be able to get it quite easily now. But like I said, this is where everything really started. I didn't have a handbrake back then, so I utilized the clutch kick and everything like that. Try and get behind this United 2 and see what we can do. Oh. Oh, D4. D Gear ratios were not the best on these cars. Throw that clutch kick, though. See if he wants to follow me. Oh, no. He lost control. Now it in the second. This little section was what everybody really drifted. And then going into this little section. Going back to basically where I started drifting in a set of Corsa. Was, like I said, on console with these cars on this track because we didn't have mods or anything like that. So it was definitely just a fun time trying to get this turn right with all the clutch kicks. Oh, okay. Because back originally when I started drifting, I did not have a handbrake set up or anything like that on my Xbox. It was all about weight transfer and clutch kicks. In these factory rip cars, I see a lot of people on like controller and stuff like that in this lobby. So we're going to try to go this way. So I used to drive the E92 and the E30 a lot. D4 I didn't use too much because of the simple fact that I felt like I would always blow the transmission in that car. But being back... One thing I did not have in a set of course on console is the drift camera where, or the real head motion or neck effect. That was not a thing when I was on console. So having it, oh, these cars are so different. Having it now is definitely a advantage. But this is really where I first learned drifting in the game and it was a lot of fun to be able to do. These corners, the car blocked out. The only modification really to the United 2 is changing of Tires to sport tires. Can I bring that out? Oh no! <laughs> A 
lost revs and gears with that, unfortunately. These cars definitely feel super light compared to a lot of the drift mods and everything now. Oh, I don't have enough angle lock. <laughs> Did not have enough angle lock. So it is interesting to see people coming out, learning to drift and learning the cars in this lobby because it is a lobby where everybody, I feel, really starts. Especially if you don't know how to install mods or anything like that and you're just getting on and learning to drift. This lobby was always full in the console version and now we are on a PC lobby. And this E92 still gets down. Gear ratio is a little bit different than I'm used to. Use him as a moving clip. <laughs> Going back to these lobbies and seeing where everybody's starting off is definitely very different to me because I started here and it's great to see people like learning to drift on this track and stuff like that. And never being able to do this really that easily last time. Ooh. It's crazy to see how much I've changed from when I first started driving till now. Guys on controller or keyboard or keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna try and tandem with him. of online lobbies though people probably not having spawned a pit set up or anything like that so or just let me know down in the comments if you guys started here if this is where you originally started was drifting on this map with these cars or if you guys went right to the mods with say Tano buddy oh brakes are not set up right with, with Tando Buddies and or World of Drift Wars cars and stuff like that. That man had no regard for me on the track. The one final rip to this section Little clutch kick out. Get nice and kind of wide to that wall. Not as wide as I wanted to get. We're going to try and run what I used to run once I started learning the drift in the game was running this section with the G920. Having it's a lot of fun on this track. This track is a very nice track to learn to drive and stuff like that. Just throw that paint in there. Not enough power. Let's pull the handbrake to get the car out there. Oh, just a wall tap. So that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Set of Corsa. Going back to the roots of where I originally started drifting with and to see all the new people driving on here is definitely super fun. And it's crazy to see People still utilizing the basic cars and the basic track, which is super crazy. We're gonna try and get a bottle on this E30 right now. It looks like this, this dude's got a good, good solid stature. As I say that, he goes into the wall. <laughs> the loud do here for this episode if you're outside of Corso. So, if you guys follow me on all social media, I'll let you on the description box below. If you like this video and you want to see more, 
you know what to do. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.